we had 20 seconds left, and I just remember screaming at the top of my lungs, give it to Parker, give it to Parker. Shall we head to my favorite planet in the galaxy? The planet of good vibes. The planet of good vibes. The planet. It's time! All right, all right, all right. I love humanity. I think it's great. It's all good, man. I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. The Ham Planet Podcast. Hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen. It is another great day in paradise. We are California chilling. We are California dreaming, and we are blasting off of the galaxy in the In the process, five, four, three, two, and one. Top of the morning, folks. Good afternoon and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ham Planet Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Ham. And if you are new to the show, we are extremely happy to have you here. Needless to say, if you're returning, happy to have you. Great to see you back. Uh, the Ham Planet Podcast is about three things. Simple as that. Good vibes, great people, and glorious stories. And today, we have a great guest on tap, and I couldn't be more fired up to bring him into the galaxy of good vibes. He is a fellow proud Baylor graduate. He's a fellow rugby warrior, and I'm proud to say that I had the honor of battling alongside him for many years. He comes from good old Glendora, California. Hope I said that right. And he's a man of God. He's a good man. And he's about to be the world's best physical therapist ever. He's the one, the only. Mr. Parker Vincent. Let's give it up for him, ladies and gents. Parker, how you doing, brother? It's great to see you. I'm doing great. Good to see you, Peter. Good good pal, Peter. Good, good pal, you. Peter. Brother, we've been pals for six years. Maybe more than that, yeah? Maybe, Maybe like more. seven? Yeah, freshman year. Dude, we're getting old, brother. We're getting, a, we're getting old. We, I mean, are, we're, we're, we're young bucks. Young still, you know, we're still, we're, we're still young bucks, but you know, getting not getting any younger. Preliminary details. Yeah. To give out preliminary details, Parker and I, we go way back. Baylor rugby teammates, Baylor rugby champions, champion. Baylor Rugby Warriors. Um, yeah, we we went through the trenches. And uh, definitely a brother. And fired up to have you here tonight, Parker. Oh, yeah. Always have been a beauty. Um, one thing I'll just start off with, because out of the many stories I could choose, I'll pick one. When we were playing Arkansas at home, we got about 37 seconds left on the clock. Tick, tick, talking. We're down by two. And down two. I'm just screaming. I'm just, we're, we're grunting it in, but I'm just like screaming. I'm like, give it to Parker. Just drop kick it, drop kick the shit in. And um, <laughs> that's exactly what I've heard. Parker drop kicks it, bada bing, bada boom. Game winner, fire me up, oh, yeah. buddy. I always will love that memory, Parker. That is one of the many. Yeah, well, I mean, it was all it was our forwards who set it up, though. Drove us down the whole field. Oh, there. classic big, Parker move, giving it to the team. Classic. But I remember. I mean, big Nate Ports had a big run. Campbell had a big one. I mean, we had yeah, such, you, I mean, we had 
good, such good squad. camaraderie and chemistry, dude. We had a squad. Got down there and yeah, and then it was your idea. When you said drop kicker, I was like, okay, I guess. You and know it was what ugly. You do. I just was kind of looked at you know, I'm like, you know what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I felt yeah. like that's what we said between each other mentally. Yeah. I don't remember. But, yeah, I mean the thing is like whenever I'm in game, especially like that close to the try line, like I got so much stuff going on in my head, like I don't I never think to drop kick it. So I'm glad that you had the idea and told me to do that because I was not thinking that at all. And then when I did it, it was like the ugliest kick ever and it was like spinning sideways. But it weaseled it through and it weaseled its way in there and dub city. Dubs. Dubs, brother. God, Dubs. the pizza tasted so good. Oh, yeah. After that. Shorty's always tasted better after a dub. <sighs> tasted shitty if it wasn't a dub. <laughs> which was rare, which didn't really happen. Very rare. I'm trying to think of where to start because some, we've had many, we've had many great conversations, many, many arguments on the field. Or oh, not yeah. arguments, not arguments. Nah, just yeah, button heads a little bit. Hard discussions. Sure. sure. And um, always good time. Either way. Always. always enjoyable. Every run of the way. Every single run of the way. Parker, your spirit animal is a kangaroo. Indeed. Which is one of the most majestic animals from Australia. Mm-hmm. Down on that. Parker, why is your spirit animal the kangaroo, sir? Uh, you know, I never really think about my spirit animal too much. But I like a kangaroo. He thinks about think you. Just, yeah, he's always thinking about me, huh? They're all they're just like super cool. They look super chill. You think they're nice. Those things are freaking vicious, man. Those things will get you every time. I think they have like hooks they got like hooks on their feet right so they like punch and they like kind of stab pe- like they can like stab things with their with their foot remember they're fighting and well that's kind of crazy they've got claws yeah claws yeah like on their feet and so they're Is just like jabbing. Claws? yeah yeah like, you know what I were you know, describing it as was- a hook a hook a rock a hook I- yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah but- and then, I mean, you got a pouch. That's pretty tight. Is it just the girls who have kept pouches or the guy ones have pouches too? How does that work? I think it's only girls, but I don't know. I mean, daddy's got to daddy's gotta carry the kid sometime too, you know? Yeah, but I feel like the girl gets it because they give birth. Mm. You, know you know what I'm saying? You get a pouch if you give birth. I mean, to me, that makes sense. Looking at it from yeah. a scientific perspective, a biological kangarooist. Yeah, as a as a long time kangarooist, <laughs> that makes plenty of sense. <laughs> oh shit, dude! You ever seen? I a love video? being a kangarooist. You ever you ever <laughs> seen a a video of a seahorse giving birth? I, we've been through this, dude. Insane. It's greasy. So greasy. <laughs> so greasy. Don't do it, ladies and gents. <laughs> don't do it. I don't recommend it. Unless you're in the seahorses, then you might <laughs> like it. Who knows? Do what you want. This is for <laughs> entertainment purposes only. Good vibes, but it's gross vibes for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Brother, how's California doing right now? It's pretty good. Um, I mean, people complain about it all the time. I mean, you got you got personalities and stuff, you know, your typical Californians, but uh, Oh sure. But that's you know that's not in your neck of the woods, right? In in the geographical benefits of California, wonderful. You know, I've been doing a lot of mountain biking, been uh, going to the old beach, 
I can't really complain. During the winter, you know, was snowboarding a lot and, you know, having a good time. So can't can't complain one bit about California. I do wish there was a rugby team closer to where I live. Um, yeah. I, I got to drive a little. I got to drive like 30 minutes to, to play. But, yeah, it's, it's all good. Not, not, not the worst thing to complain about. So. Curry's not bad. Yeah. So it was nice when you could just walk uh, walk right to the pitch, five minutes. Yeah, jump and, right out of your boom. front yard, and boom, you're there. Boom, good to go. You can ride your skateboard over there and or the old bike, and good to go. We were skateboarding, that, or you were skateboarding a lot, right, Parker? Freshman year. Freshman year, I had one of those little mini penny boards, you know, the little the little guys. Remember those? The greasy and then, one. Uh, yeah. The, the little guys and then uh made made the transition to the the old bicicleta had to had to get the, the wheel turning and pedals pedals going bikes a lot a, bike was a lot more efficient yeah i agreed peter uh i always, was biking always looked awesome you looked great on a bike but that bike yeah. you had the one you had was way too small for your beast body dude oh the i think it was way too small <laughs> for you <laughs> They don't have bikes for guys who were two two fifty six three. They don't have bikes. I just remember seeing your your knees like go like way up like past your like hand, like the handlebars. Smash <laughs> against so the handlebars, getting cut up. <laughs> Not comfortable. Serious problem. Very serious problem. <laughs> um but I found a good massive bike that works well for me and I rode it a lot. I got in good shape from it. Good. And I, like to hear. I still have that bike to this day and I don't ride it. So why not brother? Hopefully next time I check in with you, Parker, I'm riding the yeah. bike. Have a good, good update for me. Even though the, I got to get new tires and the holes around the mill. Well, Parker, where to start? Are you still eating hot dogs with ketchup? A whole lot of ketchup? Oh, yeah. A whole lot of ketchup. <laughs> oh. Parker, you've always, you've always been a sauce connoisseur. Love At the, the end of the day, uh, ketchup, mustard, ranch, chipotle yeah. ranch, uh, teriyaki, Spicy Ranch, you name it. Parker's mm. connoisseur. Yep. Um, what's your advice on the sauce? What's my go-to sauce? Yeah. I love Chick-fil-A sauce, man. That's that's my favorite. That's, what do they put in a, there? I don't know, dude. It's some freaking drugs or something, bro, because it's so good. But, I mean, there's always a debate I over have here. three ranches right over there. Three just the ranch mm. uh, I might just uh, eat the whole straight, thing just straight down the pipe gosh that's that that's you gotta really look yourself in the mirror after one <laughs> <laughs> after taking three ranches down the hat nah but chick fil sauce is the way to go man that's that's my favorite um, that's the only way yeah. to go for anyone uh, it depends on you. It depends on what we're eating. What, what, what are we eating? Let's go. Let's start chicken. I mean, I feel like chick. I feel like you answer all the sauce questions by saying Chick Fil A sauce. Mm. I mean, I like canes, uh, but that's occasional. Yeah, you go. You go canes or over Chick Fil A or what? What do you, what nah. do you prefer? Chick Fil A. Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Chick Fil A, they they literally don't they have like a farm inside of the kitchen where they raise the cow. Yeah, the, they raise the cow. Oh, <laughs> you know they don't they don't raise the cow. They just killing cows. In the kitchen. <laughs> nah, they ain't cows. killing the cows. <laughs> yes, hey, <it's> for fun. <laughs> stand here, take this picture. <laughs> He's <was> torturing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but. 
they, um, I, I they like know, Chick-fil-A. They know what they're do- they know what they're doing around a f- bunch of uh, chicken. I'll give them that. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 uh, chickenists for sure. We're we're the kangaroos. They're they're the chickenists. <sighs> See, I wouldn't want to be a chickenist. I'm happy to be a kangaroo. No. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like we chose the right profession. You know, going kangaroo. As a kangarooist, I believe the kangaroo population needs to continue to stri- strive to persevere and populate mm-hmm. other countries. Yeah. And uh, colonies. And yeah. um, mm-hmm. would love to see them in America. And yeah. um, as a kangarooist, I support the, the growth of the kangaroos. Oh yeah. Support the ruse. Support the ruse. Roo with the squad. Mm-hmm. Roo or you're out. Brother, how's being a licensed PT? Well, so here's here's the deal. I mean it, there's a caveat with that. So not, I graduated. I, I, yeah, go ahead, sorry. I graduated. Yep. In May, and then I take my exam on August sixth to become like officially like licensed. And so I'm studying. I've been studying uh, kind of since finishing my rotation, um, which I did like at a clinic and at a hospital. And then so yeah, I've just been studying. Going to take that exam on August sixth. Hopefully, hopefully kill it. And then uh, yeah, sure will, brother. Yeah, and then. Uh, yeah, I already have a job lined up for like after I finish the test. So got the old job lined up. It's gonna be nice to be uh, making some some actual money instead of paying Absolutely all this money right. and paying loans and whatnot. And so paying money to learn. Now you're really gonna get to learn in the real world. Exactly, brother. So <laughs> you know you you are the, every day is the real world. Every day. But it's nice to make money in it. It is. A, I mean, it comes with its responsibilities. But yes, it is That's nice. Right. Yeah. It's got. It um, it's a tool. I should. It's got to be viewed as a tool. I feel like is a healthy mm-hmm. way to view money. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to teach myself to do. What do you think? How do you view it? Got to be smart with it. You know. I mean. Money can be dangerous, you know, but I think it could be used for a lot of really, really awesome things. And if used wisely, then it can be great, you know. But I mean, at the end of the day, I still got to pay off loans and stuff. And I got other stuff. I got, I'm not just going to be like living, you know, living large and just freaking, you know, but I, yeah, got to pay off the loans. And then, yeah, I, we'll, hear, I hear you, brother. We'll have some fun, you know, we'll have some fun. Maybe buy a new mountain bike or so, or yeah, get something going. What do you think about those boards that have that big ass wheel in the middle? They're like um, motorized. You put one oh, foot on. Just a, yeah, with the one giant wheel, right? one mass. Yeah, you go fast. Dude, you go like those, seven, I you go see like people seven. freaking. People are zipping on those things. I see. I see people Bonker. zooming, like weaving. Do you have one? Yeah, I, feel, I feel like you would have one. Nah, I don't got one of those. But those things look sick because it's not like the like the little. Remember those hoverboards that they had? When those two just go kind of slow and they're kind of. I was. Those were like, still eh. sick, though. Those are still. Yeah, sick. I mean, they, I was, they like, suck, it was cool when those. Suck. It was like it was kind of cool when those came out, but I was like, all right, they go kind of slow, <laughs> but then. You see people freaking zooming on those wo- the one wheel ones, bro. The, it's like a motorized, bro. If you oh, if you hit something on that one of those going like seventy, Audio. you're dusted. Immediately dusted. Audio going down. You hate to see it. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. Dude, nothing, nothing worse than eating it. Nothing worse. Did you ever eat it on your bike at at school? 
Mm, nothing severe, but nothing. I, I'm pretty sure I recall you might have had a scenario. Did you? On not not at school, like on campus. Yeah, not on campus. I, I ate it at Cameron Park, big time. You remember? You remember my bike? I remember, how it had like the. Remember how the wheels were connected to the the chain? It was the fixed gear, you know. So if like the wheels were going and the pedals would go. Yep. And then like the only way to slow down, I didn't have any brakes. The only way to slow down was like, yeah, holding pressure. Bro, back. those are the, those are rough. In camera, deadly, bro. Yeah, dude. I was freaking cooking down one of those hills in Cameron Park, just bombing. And then my chain popped off, so I had no way to slow down. Yeesh. Yeah, so then my I put my foot on the like back tire to try to slow down, and it just kept bouncing off. It was like, it wasn't sticking. And then I stuck it on the front tire, which was stupid, because it yeah. shot my foot forward and just jammed it right in the fork. Like, right in the Ooh. fork, and then it just flipped, did a full, like, flip. But... And then, like, my bike went flying and, like, went bouncing. But luckily, like, I kind of, like, landed. I kind of, like, landed, like, on my butt and just kept rolling and popped, like, straight up. And, like, it didn't really hurt. I was chilling. I was, like, kind of got super lucky. But, yeah, could have could have been bad. Could have had some Dane Bramage going there for sure if I hit the dome. So you had – what was your most severe injury that occurred on that uh, scenario? Dude, that one, I mean, honestly, it was, I got lucky because, like, I didn't even have, like, road rash or anything because just the way that I landed was kind of, like, you had nothing. Smooth, you, you were know? unscathed. Kind of unscathed. I mean, my, like, it's I like you landed, landed on a, a little bit on my butt. Yeah, it was just kind of smooth. But good thing you played rugby. I got, yeah, good thing, you know, I'm just nice and right. agile. If you're just a little uh, toothpick or dusty, that'd probably break you. Yeah, dude, I had the freaking caboose to soften the blow a little bit. Running insane down the field. That's how we got it. Um, there we go. Extremely painful <laughs> at times. Oh, yeah. Brother, um, who, how's, well, Got two things I want to dive into. We'll roll. We'll roll this one first, brother. Brother, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. In five. I feel like five. that's the maximum thoughts. Yeah. Sure. Love, I love the glasses. Honestly, those are sick. Those are Got a good deal on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they're nice. they're supposed to be blue light blockers too. Ooh, dude, you don't want that blue light. That's bad yeah. light. Bad yeah. light. Bad. bad. Very bad. Bad. <laughs> I. I. Uh, yeah, what we're we're yeah. We're I'd say five five years from right now, uh I will probably I'd like to work at part time at a clinic and part time at a hospital. So I wanna be doing like is a clinic like privatized? More private. Yeah, it's like a private a private clinic. So it's like if oh I had uh, I had knee yeah. surgery like um, two months ago and I'm just trying to get back to playing sports. So it's like, I'm going to go see you to get back to doing that or, you know, or it could be anything. It could be a non-athlete, anything, anybody with any in injury. So I want to do like part of the week like, in a clinic and then the other part, like at a hospital. Cause yeah. working in a hospital is actually kind of fun. It's more like fast paced and, and you just kind of like roll into a room after somebody had like a surgery or like, anything like whatever for whatever reason if they had like a stroke or something like you roll in you just kind of like chat with them kind of get their like history and stuff and then uh you just try to get them up and walk and make sure it's safe for them to walk and yeah so i think that, that it's so i kind of want to do like maybe yeah part partly in the clinic partly in a hospital 
but in terms of like geographically is that like the ideal setup that like you know in your i think no i mean most most people would probably go like full time in one of the settings one or the other do you want to but i kind of want to do both yeah just because that that way i can keep my skills up in both settings because both settings are like completely different they're like kind of totally bad. different job. It's like totally different jobs. So I would I would want to keep my skills up in both settings. Um, yeah, I but yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say probably I either want to stay in California, just because it's like honestly, like it's pretty awesome over here. Like it's a blessing for sure. Because you know, I the love, weather's you know I love it. Yeah, the, the weather's beautiful out here. There's so many Incredible. great parts. There's some yeah parts that are just highlighted as negative yeah negative but yeah, uh, but we can avoid those areas you know absolutely i mean yeah. sure. there's so much beauty there which is amazing yeah. i mean there's hikes we got the beach we got mountain biking trails lakes all of it mountains yeah it's it's awesome so either oh brother either you're making me want to come here, visit I mean, you always can, man. You got a place to stay, so come, come through. You can. Oh, I got a place. Uh, always, <laughs> always. All right, let me put that down. Book, book your ticket, brother. Book the ticket. Come through. And uh, but yeah, Where, I mean, I have to go to LAX. Uh, or Fly out to LAX. LAX or Ontario, man. Either way, whatever's cheaper. Perda. Perda. Come through. We got a place to stay. We got our own private uh, weight room for you, too. We got one up at our church that we built. It's pretty nice. Love getting huge in the Lord's name. That's yep. when I feel my strongest. In the Lord's, yes. Games come straight from the Lord. Ladies and gents, what's good? It is Commercial Break Peter here, here to tell you that we are scooting and booting right along in the episode. So with that being said, we're back to the show. What is something most people don't know about you? This is a weird one and this is kind of like my my like go to like strange, really weird fact that I'm kind of ashamed of and kind of embarrassed about, but you know, it's for the boys, so I'm gonna be straight up. You know? We're always for you. Um I love the feeling of sneezing like so much. I don't know if I've told you this, but like sometimes yeah. I'll like legit just go in the bathroom with a Q-tip and just start twisting mm-hmm. around up in there, you know, tickling around in there just to get yourself back, you know, just sneeze. And I'll just be like sneezing for maybe getting a good like 10 sneezes in the bathroom just like because it feels good. <laughs> like, it does I, feel I good. Know it's weird. It feels Bro, nice. I, I I used to I don't do it anymore. But I was doing it for a long time. <laughs> I quit, I think. <laughs> Shoot it. What I would do is get a hair and just pull it right here. And just <laughs> Bro, and that would set me off every time. <laughs> But I would do it to like leave class sometimes and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sneezing. I gotta go. <laughs> sorry, I gotta go. I'm sneezing too much. I got the sniffles. But yeah, that's a that's a weird thing people probably don't know about me. Um, wow, brother. Yeah. Didn't, know, didn't yeah. take you for one of those guys. You're one of those dudes. Yeah, one I'm into those. that kind of stuff. Brother, if you but, could interview a famous yeah. person, who would you choose? Who would I choose a famous person to interview? Probably my boy Donald Trump. I think I think I'd, I'd interview that'd interview Trump. Hu- that'd be huge. It'd be huge. You know, um, he's he's definitely an icon. Whether you love him or you hate him, he's an interesting guy. And he'd have some. There's not. If someone out there said they wouldn't interview him, they're crazy. Yeah, like it'd be entertaining for sure. I mean, no matter what your what, no matter what your opinions are on on the guy, it'd be very 
entertaining, entertaining. entertaining and uh, That'd be and historic. Historic, glorious. Yeah. I mean, that, the people who have got the interview, them, it's like a prize. Yeah. It's an honor. Opportunity. Like per, oh, Portnoy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Portnoy got a, they weaseled into the White House and got an interview with him that one day. Yeah. And that was huge for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. Parker. Parker, if you had a warning label, what would you say, Brother Parker? A warning label? Yeah. Mm, it would be for the ladies, probably. It would it'd be a warning to all the ladies. I got commitment issues. Sorry, girls. I got, I got a hard time committing. So it'd be, it'd be uh, mm-hmm. yeah, a warning, warning for the ladies. I think I get yeah. too caught up sometimes in uh, having fun and doing doing my own thing that, you know, I don't really, I, I have a hard time just being like, yeah, like let's date or, you know, really, really giving it my all in a relationship, which is something I got to work on, but you know, it's, it's well, brother, it's a chapter. It's fun time. Yeah. I, I, I'm right there with you. Fun time. When you're dating someone, you have a responsibility to them. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. I think anyone can say that. Sometimes. Uh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, brother. That's so that's the warning label. Okay. Ladies ladies be careful. Ladies beware. Heartbreaker alert. Heartbreaker. Brother, if you and I were to go to jail, what would it be yeah. for? Me and you. Uh, me and you. Me and you. I feel like maybe cheese waffling somebody like in the good old days back at back in Waco, driving around. I would hate to go. I'd hate, I'd hate to go down for that, <laughs> but it'd be pretty funny. It'd be, it'd be something just like. So stupid, like chucking chucking some some food item at some girls or something. I don't know, like throwing yeah, throwing throwing cheese waffles probably. At, cheesy, at cheesy McGreasy waffles. Yeah, brother, yeah, just like the good old days. Or the or some of the greasy days at times. <laughs> the greasy days. <laughs> Brother, I love asking this one. What mythical creature do you wish still existed? Well, wait, mythical, like, did they ever exist? Or are they mythical? Like, like they're extinct, Think of your or? mythical creature. Did you ever play Age of Mythology? No, I played some Pokemon, you know. Okay, they're kind of mythical. So yeah, think of, or, or you know, okay, you know what I'm saying, like a Minotaur. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> Minotaurs would be sick. Would be like Yeti. Scary. Oh yeah, the um, Centaur, a Hydra, a unicorn, a Pegasus. I mean, I like a. Pegasus. I would say, I would say Bigfoot, but Bigfoot is definitely real. So Bigfoot is real. They've got a Texas real. one. They're multiple. Yeah. Have right. you seen one out in your neck of the woods? Not mine. I haven't been blessed to, to see one yet. But We got them um, all over. I, I'll, I'll see one. Yeah, they're all over the place. I'll, I'll see one one day. Big old boys. Good guys. So yeah. Just taking Good guys. it easy. Really, just yeah. chilling. Just chilling. You know? Not hurting anyone. No. Not bothering not, anyone. Just being big and having feet. Minding their own business. Yeah, just having big feet. Big feet. I didn't, I didn't know that was a crime. It ain't, if you ask me. Yeah. Parker, so what do you um, think, brother? My mythical creature that I wish was around, maybe like a phoenix, you know, like those flaming birds. Mm. Those are sick. I can see it. Those are sick. Pegasus. A Pegasus would be sick, too, or like a, un- a unicorn. 
Unicorn, uh, unicorns fly, right? Yeah, they got wings. Pegasus can definitely fly. I know Pegasus can fly. Unicorn have a horn. Yeah, they got the horn, but do they have wings? Uh, it depends on what unicorn you're looking at. Then I'd much rather have a Pegasus because, I mean, a unicorn's just like not much greater than every a horse. It's got a horn. Every time I think of a Pegasus, I think of the legendary Jumanji intro where that oh, Pegasus yeah. just comes yeah. flying oh, out at the yeah. screen at you and just the music. Mm-hmm. Jeez, that got me fired up back back in the old days. Back when you were, a, back when you were young, a young Peter. Back when I was a young Peter. <laughs> What a movie. What a movie. Dude. OG Jumanji. The classic. Hey, oh yeah. A must see by many. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Brother, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Um hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm between two places. Okay. I like New Zealand because it's beautiful over there. The people are super nice. Rugby's huge. Um, Maybe coach there. I would. There's no way. I, they their kids know more than I do, man. They, <laughs> they're so good, man. It's in, it's insane. But it'd just be fun to just be there, you know. And, in like that that culture and stuff and um the beautiful landscape too i mean definitely yeah. like the like both islands are are super beautiful so maybe maybe new zealand would be one and other one would be maybe argentina because um i love like spanish-speaking countries i like the culture there too the food's awesome people are really nice maybe i could see old santi our good, our good pal Santiago. You could definitely I, see Senor Santi. Senor He's there. Santi. Senor yeah. Santi wants to come to America, though. Really? Yeah, we should get him and you over here sometime. It'd be a real treat. Get to Cali. Get all three of us back together. Yep. Brother, I love Santi. Oh, such yeah. a such a good guy. But yeah, Argentina. Oh yeah, financial crisis. Yeah, tough. Not not doing great. Tough, tough scenario. Santi doesn't need to be in a tough scenario. Yeah, brother. What songs hit you with a wave of nostalgia? Anytime you hear them, what are some um, of the top three? Top three, nostalgia, definitely Sugar We're Going Down by Fall Out Boy. Um, I just remember blasting it on my MP3 player, you know. That's a, definitely a banger. Um, what else? You got... Oh, Lean Like a Cholo. You remember that song? Lean Like a Cholo. Lean Like a Cholo. Side to side. Dude, side. Up, yeah, yeah. Side to side. Yeah, that was like one of the first like rap songs I knew. So that that one. Um, maybe, let's see. Hmm. Uh, and then Adios Amigo. Singing with the, with the rugby boys. And some of the parties. Yeah, that was the one I think Ben Ben showed everybody that one. That was a classic. great one. Yeah, that's a that's a Ben a Ben Newcomb classic. Ben um Ben had some good classics. Oh yeah. I, I ben, give it uh, I give it great to great DJ. He's up there. Oh yeah. Me and Ben would always go back and forth over DJ. Yo, get off the Bluetooth. <laughs> no, I just got on. 
All right, brother. I think it's about that time to fire off a few of the Ham Planet podcasts. Traditional, legendary, would you rather questions of the night? Are you ready, sir? Fire away. Would you rather have an incredibly annoying high pitched voice? Or a extremely deep, really manly voice. I mean, the manly one for sure, right? I mean, I don't want to be annoying anybody with my high pitch, squeaky voice, right? I mean, and then manly, deep manly voice. I mean, that sounds uh, I'd that do doesn't that sound too, sure. too terrible. Yeah, that doesn't sound too terrible, you know. I'd, I'd I'm probably, taking the manly. Uh, I'd take that one for sure, yeah. Question number two of the night. Mm -hmm. Mr. Parker Vincent, are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Would you rather have a fully blown mustache for a year or permanently? This one doesn't work. Because a mustache is a good thing. This question would be for a woman. Next question. Hey, don't knock the mustache. That's a good thing. No, that's, that's, that, that's nice. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The question yeah. was, would you rather have a full-blown mustache for a year or permanently hairy legs for 10 years? Okay. Mustaches um, are great. We already yeah. kind of have legs. so But like, they're yeah. already hairy. But so, okay. Yeah. Um, would you rather have an abnormally big toe or an abnormally big ear? Well, my ears, I already got one ear that's bigger than the other. So I guess I'll go with the ear one. It's not so bad. <laughs> Parker's report. It ain't it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad, people. Take the ear. It's not it's not the worst thing in the the world. I'm taking the ear too. I I swear. I pulled that one out of the rabbit hat. (laughs) That was not just a coincidence, huh? (laughs) Just a coinka dink. Yeah, not not too bad. Brother, would you Rather be able to fly or become invisible. Okay, if you can fly, how fast can you fly? And like, do you get tired? Like, what's your, you know, what's your limitations? What's the anything outside the question is up for interpretation, brother? Because mm. I feel like if you could be like, oh yeah, I'll just fly to, you know, like freaking, I don't know, Hawaii real quick. But it's like if you can only fly so far, then screw that. That's You know, that's not very convenient, you know, but I feel like there'd be a lot of benefits of being invisible. You know, you can listen in on some people's conversation, get some crucial information. Um, Do you need that information? I mean, sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's, you know, it could be, yeah, it could be, I guess it could be a bad thing. It could be good or bad. It could be. It could be good or bad. You got to use it for more good than bad. Yeah. And then doing it right. Yeah, I think it'd be sick to be invisible. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because what else? I'm trying to think. Like, what else could you like? Would would what other good would being invisible do for you? I mean, if I could fly, I could just like zip on up, fly up to the mountain or something. Or I don't know. That'd be kind of sick. Or just like travel. You know, skip traffic. You just fly wherever you want to go. That'd be kind of nice. But if you're invisible, what what good does that do you? I agree. I mean, you just can, like, steal stuff, right? I mean, like, steal some items, but that's kind of scummy. We ain't about that, you know? I, I we, see little to no benefit in the invisibility. Flying? Yeah. So, insane. No insane. traffic. If you can fly, you can uh, basically do anything. Ladies and gents, what's good? It is Commercial Break Peter here, here to tell you that we 
are scooting and booting right along in the episode. So with that being said, we're back to the show. Brother, would you rather be stuck on an island for eternity? All on your own. Or with someone you hate? Ooh. I don't know who I hate. We don't, don't hate. Really hate. We don't nobody. hate anyone. We're not about that. We're not. We don't have. We got love in our heart. But we got someone, nothing but love. Who's the someone we, we love? The, who's someone we love the least? And you just love less. <laughs> you love them the um, least about. I would rather have somebody there, um, even if I don't like them. We'll figure it out. At the end of the day, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll become friends. Maybe if it's a if it's a lady. We could learn to fall in love, I guess. And populate the and island then, and build an army. And then, I mean, I'm hoping this island's big enough where if she's really pissing me off, I could just tell her to piss off and go to the other side of the island. And, yeah. So, I think I could have, you but know... To if, continue, if we, to continue the colonization, you would have to... We, we, got, we got to. You know, you, you gotta got to populate the spread, village. You got to spread the seed. You know, you, you got to populate. I mean, that's how um, Adam and Eve started on an island, Gilligan's yep. Island, basically. Yep, gotta gotta multiply, brother. You're in a crowded room. Would you rather fart loudly and everyone laughs at you, or be the mm. only one laughing? Obnoxiously when someone else farts. Um, I would probably rather be the one who does it loudly. Yeah. Because if it's so crowded, I mean, first of all, I mean. Nah, yeah, you just, just laugh it off. You know, you're good. Just just own it and you're just, just laugh it off. Play, you know, play it cool. You're good. You know, I'd rather do that than just be that annoying prick who, you know, just won't shut up. And then the person like is just like trying to like be all like sly about it. And absolutely, you're, you know, you're you're that annoying prick who just like won't shut up. Yeah, I'd brother, probably rather be the one to. I'm right there with you, yeah. brother. Next question on the list. I think you might like this one. Would you rather have your hands stuck in a jar permanently or a bucket permanently? Like a paint bucket, I'm assuming. Hands stuck in a bucket? Yep. Like, I guess like a paint, a little too tight paint bucket. Who knows? I'd say the jar just because it's smaller. I mean, you, you can, I feel like it'd be easier to maneuver that thing like in and out of jackets or you know like a t-shirt it'd be hard to get a, a t-shirt on around a bucket you know i mean what bucket are we talking uh, like a big five gallon bucket well if it's that big you know, that'd be tough <laughs> that would suck that would be shitty that'd be tough that'd be extremely hassleless quite hassleless Brother, would you rather have the ability to have superhuman strength or have the ability to change into an animal? Uh, hmm. Ooh. Probably... Uh, probably superhuman strength. Yeah, superhuman strength. Yeah, because it would not only like would it help like in sports or something like you know like you'd be pretty dominant at any sport. If you if strength. you've got that though, don't you feel like they're gonna be like, yo, dude. You, you get something, something fishy. Yeah. What are you taking? You know. I mean, yeah. That's what they say, but, but you you wouldn't be taking anything. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, I ain't taking the oroids, so there's nothing they could say. 
<laughs> then yeah. I think you'd I think you'd be Gucci. Don't yeah. Being to change it into an animal though, that'd be that'd be sick because you could like Cause fly I'm wherever you you could fly. I'm going animal. Turn it just you could turn into a bird if you wanna fly somewhere. If you wanna be, be a um be a little fish real quick. You can swim around in the ocean, you know. You could be a shark. I'd be I'd go big. Shark yeah. killer. I'd go orca. Oh, orca. I would I would mainly big. just be switching back and forth between orca and grizzly. Orca grizzly. Orca, orca grizzly. Grizzly. Every day. That'd be my routine. I'd Every maybe go day. moose once in a blue yeah. moon. Or cougar. <laughs> Shit. What's good? It is commercial break. Peter here. Here to tell you that we are scooting and booting right along in the episode. So with that being said, we're back to the show. Mr. Parker Vincent, would you rather teleport randomly once a year to literally anywhere on the planet or be stuck in six hours of traffic once a year on a random day? Six hours of traffic, I'd go freaking insane, bro. I, I get, I get pissed, through. dude. I get and the, freaking uh, 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 pissed. Uh, there's nothing. There's honestly nothing in this world that pisses me off more than sitting in traffic. You just feel so helpless. You can't do anything about it. Like no matter how bad you want to go somewhere, no yeah. matter how late you are, you can't do anything. You're just sitting there. So if I was sitting can't. for six, six dirty hours. No oh. way, dude. No yeah, way. I'd rather just go anywhere, you know, and hope it's a good place. Hope it's not in the middle of the ocean. That would suck. Um, hey, man. That, that might be the worst. Because, I mean, imagine, like, <clears throat> imagine being stuck in the middle of the ocean, you know, no boat, no nothing. You know what I always think about? Imagine, imagine walking the plank back in the day. It's got to be the worst way back to go with out. the pirates and the sailors. Back being a pirate and Tough. walking the plank out in the Dude, middle, just, out in the middle, out in the middle. You're in the middle of the ocean. You don't see any land, and you're just you're walking the plank, buddy. And Jeez. you just gotta step off. Usually, when they get and, sliced and diced, though, before they walk the whole thing, they'd be banged I think up. They just, I don't know if they slice and dice them, bro. I think they they, they kind of would poke you know, them a little bit, give them a little hit. Yeah, give them a little, little pokey poke. Yeah, so they kind of shuffle back and they're like, ah, no, I'm, ah. ah, dude, that'd be the worst thing ever. Walking the I'd plank. be pissed. I'd be pissed. I'd be, sure. I'd be so pissed. I am pissed. <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to do that. <laughs> This shark away from me. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't walk the plank tonight. I'm glad no, we no, blasted we it off into the galaxy of good vibes. Blast it off. <laughs> brother, I always love catching up with you. I always share a short time together, brother. We always have a blast. Oh, oh yeah. No always doubt. a blessing. Always a blessing. Bless mm -hmm. up. What's up, baby? Brother Parker. A lot of good times together. Oh, Taylor yeah. Rugby. Battling out in Cali. And oh, many, yeah. many between. And I'm sure we have more to follow up on. So I think we should do an episode again down the road when we cross the old pass in Texas or Cali. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, brother. Brother. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to as well. No doubt about that. Well, brother, I think we're going to tell the ladies and gents who stuck with us tonight. We love having you here. And um, we appreciate it. We hope you had half as much fun as we had because we had an absolute blast and a half. And um, shout out Parker. 
Shout out Baylor Rugby. Shout out to the good Lord Jesus Christ. The Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. We got the good vibes pumping through the veins, and it's always good when good friends get together and have a good conversation. It's one of the goodest things that you can have in life. So with that being said, make sure to share this podcast with someone who needs some goodness in their life because we're all about good vibes, great people, glorious stories. Parker, what a time, sir. Appreciate that. Thanks for having me. Brother, we shall be seeing you soon. And if you enjoyed tonight's episode, share it with your mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, cousin, best friend, girlfriend, be a house pet, Rick down the street. Share it with everyone who needs some good vibes. Because as we always say, you can never overdose the good vibes, ladies and gents. Oh, 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 oh